In the name of King Lud, I command you to throw down your weapons and face justice for this atrocity. You have desecrated our road with this machine. My apologies, but since it's the same road for another hundred miles, won't hurt none if I just keep going. If we had that car, we could catch up to the android. You even know how to drive one of those? I'm sure he'll offer us a ride if we scare off those Luddites for him. There's a lot of them. We might damage the car if this goes bad. I'll sneak around to the other side. If they see they're in a crossfire between us, they might be smart enough to surrender. You just distract them until I get on the other side. Think you can handle that? How do I distract them? What do I say? You gotta be kidding me! I can never get you to shut up, and now you get tongue-tied? Well, I got business east of here. How about we work something out? We will permit you to enter our lanes, but we'll destroy your rolling machine and your factory-made weapon. Now the car weren't mine to begin with. But ain't none of you touching this rifle. What smells like Brahmin shit around here? Brother of steel, your mechanical feet defile the very dirt on which you tread. I'm lost. Can you folk give me directions to a town called Mariposa? The Tin Man speaks, yet his words are hollow. Mariposa. It's the Spanish word for butterfly. The back when times, the United States had a military base there. The army used it to test a kind of mutagen called FEV. But in the year 2162, the mutants were all but running the show. The only humans there were unfortunate wanderers who had been captured and were awaiting their turn to be dipped in the FEV vats. Cease your ramblings and leave the realm of King Lud. We'll grant you the courtesy of allowing you to keep your armor if you leave with haste. But one human and their companions were brave enough to walk right into the place. A person called the Vault Dweller. Can a man speak so much yet not hear? It is as though he cares not that we pay him no mind. They found the military base and super mutants there. It was just the proof needed for the Brotherhood to take action. They sent in a squad of their best paladins to help the Vault Dweller clear out the place. I was there a good thirty years ago. Nothing left but puddles of green goo, busted robots, and dog bones. I have a theory about those dog bones. Once the Vault Dweller and their companions got inside that base, they probably found it crammed full of angry mutants. No doubt that base was home to the best examples of the Master's genetic experiments, gloating about their luck in the mutation lottery. The Super Mutant is the next advancement in human evolution. To save the world, we will convert all the worthy individuals. Simple, efficient, glorious. The Vault Dweller gained access to the base's control room and turned on the self-destruct so they had to clear out fast. Silence! Do not think your armor makes you invulnerable! The Knights of King Lud will hurl ourselves at you until you drown in our blood if need be! Got enough to drown two of us? Make that three. Tell your soldiers to stand down. Sir? Let them pass. A reckoning will come sooner than they believe. Thanks for the assist. I take it you three will be wanting a ride? Yup. North lies the realm of King Lud. Your machines will not save you there. Our ranks have swelled, and you will drown in blood for your arrogance. No one tells me where I can go, but you folks can walk back if you want to. Looks like a dangerous road ahead. My armor's airtight. I won't drown no matter how deep the Luddite blood gets. King Lud, I am an arrow against all tyrants. Hit it.
folk call me Junior. This is Edna, and my name is... Sorry, friends. As you can see, these roads have fallen on hard times. What'd she say? She says you look a little long in the tooth to go by Junior. Sounds like your robot wants to ride the trunk. You really heading to Mariposa? That's the opposite direction. That was just subterfuge. We're actually going... Northeast. Looking for a person that's probably heading to Route 70 on this road. I see. Does the radio work? Nope. Know any good stories? As a matter of fact, I do. Son of a bitch. Did you know that it was the Chrysler Corporation that built your highwayman here? Their offices are located...